You know what? I'm gonna make one last run at the uh, the high security area. I think I can make it. Okay, we're going through there if we can. Nope, that's locked. The fuck is that thing? Okay, now I'm gonna die here. Oh, if I can escape, can I escape? Nope, I can't even touch that. Yeah, no, I I deserve that death. <laughs> I take it we're not getting through there until we can actually kill all four of those guys. And I doubt that's going to be something we can do anytime soon. Okay, that just leaves... Uh, heading towards the squid, then. You'll be fine, right? You can deal with those guys. Just gonna skip as many of these guys as possible on my way down. Oh shit. How about over here? Is it safe? I appreciate the tag, at least. Hey, Liz, it's Warren. Oh my god. Warren? They told me you died. What, Warren? Creo's been on lockdown for weeks. No, Liz, listen. That's not the truth. Not the whole truth, okay? There's something going down in this town. Something big. The government is lying to all of us. I need a place to lay low. Not for long, okay? Only tonight. I know we've been through a lot, but... Ethan, I'd love to help you. I really would, but AID has been knocking on every door in the district. My boyfriend would lose his shit if I went against the government. We can't risk our spots in the evacuation. I'm sorry, baby, but there's nothing I can do. Please be safe. Okay, that's not to be under not not to undersell this. Warren has a voice now. That was not something that happened in the first game. He never spoke. He screamed in the first cutscene, but apart from that, you never actually get to talk to him or hear him talk. So that's wild. Alright, I need to make sure these guys aren't going to follow me into the next area, so... Now that you no longer have a shield... Once you start getting a hang of their attack patterns and you know which direction the attacks are going to start coming in, it's not nearly as bad. Yikes. That's grotesque. I don't even want to look at that anymore. And it's still going. There we go. Okay. So we have to go this way. There's nowhere else to go. Can I get his leg? There we go. I know I need some leg parts to upgrade. I'm gonna switch over my implant, I think. Uh, take off the medivoltaic and put on the cellular. Oh, can't afford it yet. We'll get there. In the meantime, can I... 
I guess not from here. You are Seaside Court. Yep. This is the important area. I don't know why, but the Seaside Court seems to me almost like it's trying to evoke like a uh, Pike Place Market, like the fish market from uh, from Seattle. Although I guess it could it could just easily be. Uh, I think there's a similar one in. I was thinking San Francisco because that's very much a tech town or a tech city, and this is where Creo was based. So it would, it would make sense for that to be like analogous. Entering non-combat zone. The first fucking one ever. People have gone crazy with tags here. Hunting creepy crawlies for money. Is this what my life's come to? You know I used to be an accountant. Head of finance at Creo HQ. But after... The event... The world went to hell in a handbasket. So much for our enlightened society. It's kill or be killed now. I know my choice. What's yours? I think I'm standing here in armor carrying a sword for my health. Have you met that shady Russian doctor downtown? He's a total crook. But he knows how to get past those scanner gates AID set up all over Jericho. Apparently, he has the right connections, whatever that means. I can unlock this gate at the very least. Afford to upgrade anything else while I'm here? Uh... I think I can, with that, I can afford to actually swap out the uh, implant. Yeah, there we go. You're out of luck, kiddo. I don't need any more recruits for the monster hunt. Now get out of my face before I lose my temper. There's a lot of planning to do. Okay, people are mean here. I think she's having a pretty bad... Oh my god! That's a hilarious uh, tag. Oh. Uh, making light of tragedy is the way we get down around here. These guys are having a prayer circle, sure. Join the spark. Uh, little Johnny's delivery. They just have to get in there for something later. If you want to go to the harbor, ask Brother Eli or get stuffed. Why is that a binary choice? I could go ask Brother Eli and get stuffed if that's my preference. Looking for something to buy? I'd love to make you an offer, but my hands are tied. After that nasty defrag disease broke out, I helped as much as I could. So whatever the children of the spark smuggled into the city for a fraction of the price. After a while, I was drowning in debt, so I borrowed a bit of money from a nice young gentleman. I should have known better. He turned out to be nothing but a loan shark, and I was easy prey. But I'm no dotty old lady, you see. I know what's going on. His threats get more brazen every day. Soon he'll come after my grandkids. Are you sure? I don't have anything to give you for your trouble. Not even a penny. If you really think you can do it, look for a guy called Finn and tell him Miss Fox sent you. He's doing most of his business in Port Nixon these days. I owe him 2,000 tech scrap. If you can make that villain cancel my debt, I could buy new wares and stock my shelves again. I should warn you, though. Finn is a shrewd businessman. He'll try to con you out of everything you own. All right, so track down debt collector and settle the debt one way or the other. Touch our stuff and lose your hand. Good call. Yeah, I think that does it for the ground floor. We'll have to head upstairs for the rest of it. Right, guys. That 
Is that Don Hackett? It's not about payback. Then what is it about? Yeah, that's Don Hackett. From uh from Creo. Who unfortunately did not survive the events of that game. Hey, need some wicked drone implants? Cool by me, either way, but you gotta get on with it. I have so much stuff on my mind, it feels like my brain's gonna explode. Yep. What do you got? You touch it, you buy it. We clear? Okay, so he's got graffiti. He's got ammo stashes. Grenade does 100 damage. Molotov cocktail. Proximity adapter. And a magnet. And I don't see any of this being really useful. I could sell him some stuff, but really... I'll, I'll sell him my scavenger gear, because I'm never going to be wearing it again. Now that I've got my uh, my vulture set, I'm never going to be wearing this again. Good to know he's good for something. I keep hearing the rifle cock. It's like I'm not somewhere I'm not supposed to be, and someone's going to shoot me for it. Not even sure what the hell that's for, but I like it anyway. I'm warning you. This is your final chance. Who sent you? Was it my brother? Y yeah! Of course. I should have known. But why... Why did that witless cretin Johnny ask you to spy on me, Declan? No reason to hold back. Why am I allowed to be in here? Get him. He thinks what? It's not like he's leaving me with a choice, is it? I've always honored our faith. Preached the good word and welcomed lost sheep into our flock. That's it. I give up. He will never learn the error of his sinful ways. He's brought this on himself by gorging himself on junk food like a glutton, indulging in carnal pleasures and selling drugs to washed up junkies like, like yourself. Wastrels, fornicators, heathens, the lot of them. You people disgust me. Soon our most glorious day shall dawn. The skies will be rent asunder with a deafening roar. The harbingers will descend and dispense holy, righteous justice. We will cast off- Okay, this guy is not fun. Dude's got some problems. Do I- Hi, I'm Mr. Scrappy. What? Your all-in-one rumor monger, information resource, and audiophile vendor. I'll scan every audio recording you have and reward you accordingly. So, what do you say? Fill me in on the latest gossip, and I'll give you something even better in return. Uh, I know about this. I admire your bold decision, but you will be back. I'm trying to decide if it's a gameplay thing or something else, because it feels like this gives you an incentive to seek out the audio recordings. Yep, I got some tech scrap out of that. On the one hand, selling off your audio recordings, or at least just getting paid for having them, is a good incentive to pick them up. But at the same time, I am a little concerned that uh, there might be a negative uh, side effect of showing off all of your uh, audio recordings in case this thing isn't on the level. I'm going to leave it alone for now and see if I can find out later on if that actually has any effect. Okay, so is there anything else around here? What the? That's mine. Give it back, like, right now. Seriously. Not cool. That's a memento from my ex. I mean, what would you say if I just marched into your work? I feel really bad about this now. That's not nailed down. This was a token of our love. You know? It's all I have left now? I'm a broken shell of a man. Yeah, you touch it, you buy it. Can I sell him back his uh, plastic rose? I have 
No way to actually give back the rose. But seriously, like, it's, it's an inventory item. Probably a key item? Quest items, yeah. Cheap, tacky-looking rose smells of wet. There's no way to actually get this back to him, so I feel really bad that I took it. But I'm sure it's going to unlock some dialogue later or something, so... It's not all bad. And yeah, that's it for now. This whole place just seems like kind of a trade hub. I'm not sure if that's where I was supposed to be going, or if I just missed something in there, but... To be honest, the music's kinda getting to me, I'm not sure. Okay. What exactly was our mission? We needed to get down to the Seaside Court. And we were just in, I think, the Cloud Nine? We'll have to check the map when we get outside and see where, where the hell we were supposed to be. Because Seaside Court was the main goal. Oh, we are at Seaside Court. What the hell was the objective again? Um, talk to Brother Eli at Seaside Court. And... Find Gateway Bravo. Okay, so yeah, Eli Burke, er, sorry, uh, Eli, the children of the court, are actually in the seaside court. I needed to wait for him to finish his goddamn talk, didn't I? Oh, god damn it. I hate filler music so much. Okay, you done interrogating this dude now? This is your final, final chance. Welcome to our humble. Oh, thank God I can interrupt him. They call me Brother Eli. I've been taking a lot of lost souls under my wing. My disciple Truman told me of your coming. But enough about me. Tell me about yourself. I'm a size six. I love white roses. A hardened criminal, huh? Tell me, why did they arrest you? I was in a plane crash. That's literally it. Yeah, I remember that crash all too well. Damn plane came down in the middle of Port Nixon. Almost took out our cathedral. The spark must have guided you to me. I know what a coincidence looks like, and this ain't one. What is the spark? The Alpha and Omega. The source of everything. The light that will bring about a new balance between man and machine. Just look around you. Its energy surrounds us wherever we go. May the spark guide you. Can you open the downstairs door? The gateway to Port Nixon is locked for a reason. Nobody gets in or out without my express consent. Okay, how can I get your consent? Glad you asked. I'm in deep water. Supplying our fellow men with salvaged goods is getting harder by the minute. Everything I've accomplished is at stake. And the biggest threat is right here. Inside my own ranks. Get to the point, please. I've got a bit of a family issue going on. My brother, little Johnny, has always been in charge of Port Nixon's streets. Now he's nothing but a drug lord. Someone has to bring him to justice. I'd confront him myself, but there'd be hell to pay if anybody saw me interfering, as it were. Only an outsider can take care of this mess. And I'll, I'll just say I'm in, because I know it's going to open the door. My associate downstairs will let you pass through the harbor gate now. Report to me once you put things to rest. Where is little Johnny? He's hiding out in an old terminal in Jericho's Harbor District, Port Nixon. The methods you use don't matter to me. All I care about are the results. His sinfulness must come to an end. 
once and for all. He's put a hit out on his own brother. Sure, why not? Maybe now I should get to do something around here. You can pass. This way leads to the power plant and terminal Z. Could be Z, could be Z. I like saying Z as opposed to Z just for the very fact that Z, all, a lot of the letters in the English alphabet set, end with that E sound, like C, E, G, T, V, P, D. That's why the NATO phonetic alphabet has you trying to come up with different words to, uh, to differentiate them. Port Nixon is a shithole. Wait, hang on. Necessary. Yeah, right. These people don't want to be saved. They killed everyone. I'm the last <laughs> survivor. But we found something at the harbor. Something big. Flight 221. And there was a survivor. We lost the girl. We failed our mission. <sighs> I'll have my revenge, just you wait. You goddamn bastards. The fuck is this? Okay, so they do electric damage and it shocks me for a little bit. Massacred AID response unit. Oh, that's cheerful. So these things by themselves are not that dangerous, but when you combine it with the fact that they can stun you if another enemy comes running up, I feel like this is the uh, the boss we're coming to up to is the uh, dude who's saying all this. Yep, terminal's dead. Oh, is this a bar? Huh. Be worth checking on that. You can use your starfish against enemies to deal electrical damage and stun them. If I had a starfish, do I have a starfish? I assume it might be... Yeah, I don't have a starfish yet. I'm sure it's coming up soon, and then I'll have to go back through all the areas again and start unlocking shit. We got a health thing up ahead? Come on, just try it. It'll expand your consciousness. But what if there's no going back? My brother had a dose of blue sparkle once. A few weeks later, we found him dead in the gutter. That's what your mom tells you. Because she needs a scapegoat. Because she can't face the fact she drove him to kill himself. But don't worry. This will make the pain go away forever. You can stop whenever you want. Okay, but just this one. 
Okay, so there's a drug uh, currently at work in this area. Okay, what did I just pick up? SNR Jackdaw. What the hell is that? Uh, pillaging shut. Yeah, it doesn't even say what the hell this thing is, but it's a dual rigged weapon. Which means it's very, very fast. And there should be gear in here. Actually, maybe I should stop off and uh, use that med bay while I'm still here. Hello? Hey, can you hear me, morons? Who turned the damn power back on? I shut this man bay down for a reason, you good for nothing gas bags. Sorry, bad connection. What? Can't hear you over the still. Trying to be a wise guy, are you? We'll see how witty you are after I've strangled you with your own vocal cords. Med Bay booting? Yay! I do kind of wish they had bothered to voice this character, but I can see why they wouldn't bother. Uh, scrap, we're not going to bother disassembling right now. We'll spend some points on health. I haven't really been using battery very often lately, so it's not really like it's going to matter. Uh, let's see here. Can we upgrade anything right now? Might want to start picking up more of these uh, Mark II parts if we're going to be upgrading our gear. Could go that way. I think it says item up this way, so let's check it out. Drug leftovers. And the thing we can't use. Another thing we can't use. I'm guessing we're gonna we're gonna have to get a hook pretty soon because there's like three of these in short in short uh, short order. And items. Oh great! That actually was quite helpful. Oh god. Oh, it's rough, man. Spark Aspirant's headgear. I'm probably not going to wear that, but it's nice to get a set just for completion's sake. This is a bad idea. No point. Oh. I can even the odds, can I? Uh, implants. Can we give ourselves the machine gun? Thank you. Repent your sins, heathen. Judgment day is nigh. Why do you spark will strike? Why do you sound like that? Will change. Uh, yeah, he's he's on he, he's on the spark now. Yeah, now we got leg gear. We see body and arm. I think we're all set there.
Okay, that heals really slowly. I don't know if I can rely on that on a consistent basis. Are you friendly? Have mercy, Governor. Oi, Governor. How about a piece of tech scrap so I can feed me starving fam? Uh, one, sure. Oh, that's mighty generous, Gov. If you want to know anything about this bleeding city, just say the word. Mortimer Gideon the Third is at your service. <coughs> Any shortcuts? Hmm, let me think. Now, you see that stream right in front of you? That's your direct route. I'll tell you, it's pure anarchy down there. But if you're a bit of a wuss, just use the ruddy side road. Might be able to avoid a lot of hassle that way. And then again, I wouldn't journey into the unknown all on my own. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> I appreciate your patronage, Gav. All right. So he said we can go straight up the middle, where all these badasses are, or down that side road, where there are apparently items and goodies. So many choices. <laughs> 